So in this video, I want to talk about why you need styled stock photography for your Shopify store, as well as how easy it is to find it online and customize it for your brand. So stay tuned. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Elle McCann and I have been a Shopify expert for over six years now. So one thing that I see that's a big difference between stores that are doing really well and have a great conversion rate as well as stores that aren't doing as well and are looking for more sales online is a difference in the overall styling of the site and the product images themselves. So for example, stores that are drop shipping, maybe they have really inconsistent images. Either the heights are really different or they're all just different background images and it can be super distracting. However, on the other hand, a store that has great product styled images for their home slideshow banner as well as their ads can be really captivating and get people to actually purchase more. Now, I know what you're thinking and it can be really expensive to hire a photographer and get someone to shoot your products for your store and I totally get that. So I wanted to create two different videos the, this video will be all about how to use stock photography for your product images. So you'll purchase these stock photos online that are already styled, and then you can customize them to match your branding and to fit your products. And then I'm gonna have an upcoming video as well that'll show you how to easily take some product shots of your own at home with just a little bit of equipment and not a lot of time. So, in this video again, we're going to be going through stock photography and my absolute favorite site for this is called SC Stock Shop. They have a great library of images that you can search by color or different collections and you can really customize it to your store specifically. So let's go and look at their website now and I'm gonna walk you through not only how to find an image that works well for your brand, but also how to customize it using the free online software Canva, which we've already done another tutorial in. And I'm just gonna show you again how to use that tool to go in and customize your then purchase stock photography images. So this is SC Stock Shop, which is one of my favorite styled photography sites to purchase from. And they have a lot of different options. So I like to shop by color, which you can see up here. So if we hit shop by color and then find one of my brand colors. So for example, I have teal and orange as my brand colors. So if we come in and we check out the teal, we can see all of the different photos that are in this color range. So that way you can pick your styled photography that matches the style of your site. You can also see here, they have a lot of different types of images, whether it's to include a screen or you wanted to have it be kind of a, a celebration image like that, maybe for a sale that you are running. There's a lot of different choices and you can also shop by collection. So let's say that we are selling coffee mugs. If we click on mugs here, we can see a large variety of mugs that are in different styles of either people holding it or on a desktop. And what's great about this is it really just makes your mug photography or your product photography of the mug a lot better and a lot more eye-catching, especially for ads. If you think about it, you know, any of these images are gonna pop a lot more in a newsfeed versus just having your mug on a white backdrop. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase one of these so I can show you how that is going to work and how you can add in your text. So we'll just go ahead and I'm gonna add this to my cart. So I'm gonna pick this blue image um, and they have it also to where it's kind of more cropped or so it's a horizontal image as well as having it more of a vertical image. So that's really going to make kind of how you use it is going to be dependent on where you're using it either on your site or on ads. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add to cart so I can show you how to add in your text on an image like this. And I'm also going to go in and find a desktop image as well to do. So again, they have a lot of different options 
their seasonal ones as well as food, beauty, a lot of different options based on what kind of products you have. Uh, being a web designer, I'm gonna look at the desktops and see what their options are for here. And I can go in and just scroll down and look at a large variety, but I'm actually gonna go in and I'm gonna sort by brand colors as well. So I'm gonna look this time, another brand color of mine is orange. So I'm gonna look and see what they have in terms of orange photos for desktops. So there's some here that are just overhead views and you can see all the little uh, watermarks. Those once you purchase the files are taken off and it's just a solid white backdrop. So I'm looking for ones that include more of a desktop view. So here we can see one with a laptop, one with a desktop that we can use, an overhead with a phone, as well as some overhead shots as well. So I'm going to pick the laptop version and just gonna take a look. It's a really beautiful summertime image that's gonna really look nice and pop for ads this summer. So I'm going to hit add to cart as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and purchase these two images. So now that I've got these images purchased, I have downloaded them and I'm going to open up Canva. So I have got another tutorial on Canva and how I'm using it to create gift guides and other styled images, but we can go ahead and just go to create a design. If you haven't used Canva before, just go to canva.com, but I'm going to hit create a design and I'm going to browse. And I'm going to find a, so you can now choose different styles that you want of different text configurations. However, since I am going to be using a specific image that I just downloaded, I'm gonna go over here to uploads and I'm gonna go ahead and start uploading that image. I'm just gonna upload it from my computer. Okay, and it's finished uploading. So I am now just going to drag it and drop it over here. I'm gonna delete out that text block from before, and I'm just going to make sure that it fits the space. So now I've got it sitting in the space really nicely. We can actually decrease it just a little bit so we can see that lamp a little bit more. Okay, so now I've got this set up in the space how I want it to be. So it's time to add on my mug design for the coffee mug. So ideally here, you would already have this created of what you want your mug to look like, what design is on the mug. And this would be something that you would be most likely doing a printing on demand service like Printful for. So I am just going to upload a test design that I have created for the purpose of this tutorial. So now I've got my design uploaded and it's important that this is a PNG image so that it has a transparent background. You can see here that it's just the gray background here and we're not seeing any white. Otherwise that may not look correctly on your image. So I'm just gonna drag it and drop it over and I'm gonna shrink it down to actually fit the mug. So now we can have that placed. However, you have it placed in your design and you have got your image ready to use for your website or for any marketing materials. You can then come down to this arrow up here and download this file. So this is one way to use stock photography of actually editing your products um, and having this for your website or your ads. So I'm just gonna save this out. And then I'm going to go ahead and do another example as well. So now we've got that saved. I'm gonna go back to the home. And the great part of being a part of the SC stock shop is if we come back here to continue shopping and we go back to their homepage, you can see here that you get 20 free stock images instantly plus monthly 
free images if you sign up to their email list and become an insider. So this is something I highly recommend. Um, so you would just click on this here at the top and you would enter your email address to go ahead and be able to get that free monthly styled stock image as well as the beginner 20 free images as well. So I'm going to come back to Canva and now I'm going to create this as a Facebook post. So I'm just going to hit Facebook post. So now like the last time I'm going to delete this and I'm going to upload an image. Now this is an image I had already gotten, which was their free stock photo of the month. So it was these two here. So I'm going to go ahead and add in these two images, which are the free ones for this past month that we can play with and create more of a styled image either for Facebook or Instagram and we'll just pull it over same as before and make sure that it is sized to fit the page okay I may have gone a little too big Okay, I'm just gonna move this back up. So here we have our image. We can move it down a little bit so we have more room at the top. And then now if we go to text on this left-hand side, we can then see a bunch of different text options. So I'm gonna just pull one over and size it down a little bit. But now we can come in and actually use this text to be however you want for a styled photo for your profile, maybe it's just talking about a sale that's coming up or an inspirational quote or however you want to use it. But a huge benefit of signing up for their newsletter is that you do get these great styled images every single month that you can use for free. So if you were going to be creating this as a post, you could then just come in here, double click into the type and you can style this however you want. So we can just make it whatever text you want it to be and then you can then come in and change the colors around. So that's probably not going to look the best of red. Let's see how that looks with purple. So it's a little bit bright but you can come in here and play around. You can also change the fonts. You can do a lot with Canva and you can also do a lot with these stock photos. So you can make it to where your brand looks really nice and polished. And so this is something I highly recommend you checking out. So I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. And what images are you gravitating towards? Are you looking for images based on brand colors? Or are you going to be using some of their collections like mugs or beauty or food to highlight some of your products and actually put your product inside the image? I would love to know, so make sure to comment below and let us know what images on their site were your favorite. And also check the link in the description below as well to go into their store and make sure to sign up for their newsletter to get your free stock photo every month as well. Thanks so much for watching. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe over here and check out some recent video tutorials as well as our traffic blueprint guide that you can download on our website. Thanks so much and have a great day.